This video is going to cover the topic of quality control. This relates directly to the auditing standard ISA 220 Quality Control for an Audit of Financial Statements. This auditing standard focuses on the audit firm's own quality control procedures. An audit firm has an obligation to ensure they follow professional standards and that their reports are appropriate for the client's requirements. For this to happen, the standard gives a recommended set of policies and procedures that should be carried out. To help remember the key policies and procedures from the standard, you could use Hear Me. The H is for human resources. The audit firm, and in particular the engagement partner who is responsible for the client, should ensure that their audit team is capable. They should assess the competence of the team members to ensure that the audit is performed at an appropriate standard. They should ensure that the audit team has sound knowledge of the client being audited and therefore understands the entity and its environment. However, they must also ensure the technical skills within the audit team are enough to reach appropriate conclusions. The E is for ethical requirements. Quite simply, the audit firm must ensure that they comply with the ACCA Code of Ethics. They must ensure the fundamental principles are followed and that they manage any ethical threats, conflicts of interest or other risks appropriately. The A is for acceptance and continuance of clients. The audit firm must consider whether they should accept every engagement. Once they have accepted the client engagement, they must then review every year to ensure the entity should continue to be their client. The key issue is that the audit firm must only accept clients with an acceptable level of risk. The R is for responsibilities of leadership. The engagement partner must take overall responsibility for the audit team and the audit process. This means that they must also ensure the quality control procedures within the firm are of a high standard so as to follow professional standards accordingly. The M is for monitoring. We have already said that strong policies and procedures should be in place. However, to ensure these are followed, there must be an element of review from the audit firm. The standard recommends two types of monitoring, a hot and cold review. An independent partner within the audit firm undertakes the hot review usually. They review the audit work and conclusions reached. This is to ensure that the overall conclusion, i.e. the opinion, is appropriate. Hot reviews are usually carried out for listed clients or those with significant audit risks. A hot review is carried out before the audit report is signed. It is also known as an EQCR or Engagement Quality Control Review. A senior member of staff at the audit firm performs a cold review. An external consultant can also carry it out. They review the work carried out for the client and the conclusions reached. The key difference is that the review takes place after the audit has been completed and the audit report signed. A sample of clients is selected across the audit firm to review. This ensures consistency across audit teams and identifies if there is a risk of non-compliance of professional standards. Finally, E is for engagement performance. This looks at the overall performance of the audit assignments across the audit firm. This is made up of three elements, the direction, supervision and review of the audit. The direction focuses on ensuring everyone is aware of the objectives of the audit, knowledge of the client business, the risks and any problems that may arise. Supervision is looking to ensure that the audit is reviewed by someone senior who can ensure the team is competent and the deadlines are met to provide timely information for the client. The review is to ensure professional standards have been followed, that there is evidence to back up conclusions made and that the evidence collected is sufficient and appropriate. Each of these six components is explained in ISA 220 to enable audit firms to ensure the highest quality of work is performed. This therefore ensures that an appropriate audit opinion is formed on the financial statements for every client. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you and good luck.